Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about a so perfect number, right? So, how to write the logic to find a number is a perfect number or not? Is to check the input number is a perfect number or not? See. So, first of all, so what is the definition of a perfect number? what is the definition right so any number factors sum except itself is equals to the same number see for example if you take this number n value is 6 now we need to find out how many factors for this number right how to find we need to check so one is a factor or not 2 is a factor or not, 3 is a factor or not, 4 is a factor or not, 5 is a factor or not, 6 is a factor or not, but no need to check with itself because for every number the same number is one factor, but no need to use this one. So, now in the remaining numbers how many factors are there? to this number 6 that we need to find out. So, 1 is divisible by 6. Whenever you perform mod operation, mod operation, if result is equals to 0, then it is a factor of number 6. Next, whenever, so we are dividing n mod 2 equals to 0, yes, it is a factor. And next, n mod 3 equals to 0. Yes, it is a factor. But 4 is not the factor of 6. 5 is not the factor of 6. So, now, so we found there are 3 factors 1, 2, 3. Now, just add 1 plus 2 plus 3. The result equals to 6. Nothing but this is some value. If some value is equals to the same value, nothing but n value. If both are same, this is called a perfect number. This is called perfect number. The simple thing is sum of factors of given number except itself is called perfect number how to write the logic. So, now we will see, so not only just writing the logic, after writing the logic, how to convert that program into write flow chart also, because you know most of the interviews they will ask to write a flow charts for logical programming. Okay? See, how to implement the code for this. In the main method, first I am declaring one variable n. Next, we are reading. Actually, how to read? We need to write a printf and scanf, but simply I am writing read n. In this place, you have to write a printf and scanf, two statements. Directly, we are reading n. After reading, after reading, now we need to check how many factors are there. So, we should start checking from first to that particular value. So, we are repeating for loop for here it is to repeat the loop we are using i for i value starts with 1 2 i is less than n not less than or equals to sir why sir because no need to check with itself less than or equals to n means it will check with 6 also, but here it is no need to check with itself. Okay? Here it is, we need to check up to 5, that is nothing but up to n minus 1 only or less than n. So, here it is less than n, i plus plus. Now, how to find whether it is a factor or not? Here it is very clear, n value is divisible by 1 equals to 0 or not. Reminders we need to check. Right? If reminder is 0, so then we can say that it is divisible, then we can say that it is a factor. Next, n mod 2, n mod 3. 
So, what is varying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So, what is the value which is varying means that is a for loop i value is varying i value. So, if n is divisible by i, so then the factor we are adding to sum, sum is equals to sum plus i. Sir, what is the initial value of sum? Sum value is 0, this is initial value. Now, how it executes? First, i value starts with 1, 1 is less than, consider n value is a 6, control move inside. 6 mod i nothing but 6 mod 1 equals to 0 yes condition true come inside that will be added to sum sum value is 0 sum value is 0 so 0 become 1 next uh, loop will repeat i plus plus i value is increased by 1 now it is 2 6 mod 2 equals to 0 condition true come inside that i value is assigned to I mean added to sum and assigned to sum here it is 1 plus 2 is a 3 next i value become 3 i value become 3 6 mod 3 equals to 0 6 mod 3 equals 0 condition true come inside that 3 will be added to sum 3 plus 3 6 next i value become 4 but 6 mod 4 equals to 0 condition false then if block will not execute will not execute so then i plus plus will increase i value become 5 here it is 6 mod 5 equals to 0 condition false then if block will not execute next the value becomes 6 6 is less than 6 condition false so that it terminates okay so, finally, some value is a 6. So, finally, we need to check the condition if n value is equals to the sum value, then we are printing yes, it is a perfect number. It is a perfect number. Else, if it is greater than n or if it is a less than n, so then this is we are writing not a perfect number. This is program, this is for loop ending and this is main method ending, main method. This is the logic to implement, right, a program that checks the number is a perfect number or not. But suppose if they ask, you please write the flowchart for this program, how to write the flowchart, look at this, right, see the flowchart, how to, so write the flowchart to find a number is a perfect number or not so first. So, flowchart terminology start. So, first we need to declare the variables. Variables declaration is a statement. How many variables we are declaring? One is a n value, next one is a i value and next one is a sum initializing with a 0. Variables declaration is over. Next, we need to read n variable. Here it is. We are reading n value. After reading, now for loop execution. Look at this. Here it is. In the for loop, first i value is initialization and next we are checking the condition. i value we are initializing here and we are checking the condition. So, here suppose i equals to 1 i value initialization this is for loop execution next we are checking the condition condition means what this rhombus condition checking what is that condition is i is less than n sir suppose if condition has failed suppose if condition is a false so what logic we need to write in this for loop suppose if the condition has failed then this for loop will be terminated then here it will check if block and else block so we need to write the flow for if else block here it is we need to check one more condition if n is equals to sum this condition 
this condition here if n equals to sum if n is equals to sum if this condition is a true if this condition is a true here it is we are printing perfect number if this condition is a false if this condition is a false so we are just writing this is not perfect number after printing either perfect or not perfect then the control come to end control come to end this is false statement execution sir for example if condition is a true here it is this is a for loop condition so false okay suppose if condition is a true then what we have to write look at this here it is so for loop condition we are checking for loop condition is 1 is less than n if condition is a true the control move inside again we need to check if block if this condition is a true or false nothing but if this condition is a true this is for loop condition and here one more condition we need to check one more condition what is that condition n mod i equals to 0 or not n mod i equals to 0 or not for this again two chances are there suppose if it is a false what we have to do and if it is a true what we have to do first we will see the true case see suppose if if condition is a true so what we have to write sum is equals to sum plus i observe this one if this condition is a true first it will execute sum is equals to sum plus i and after that it will go and modify modify sir suppose if this condition has failed sir if this condition has failed then what will happen without executing this statement directly it will modify in both the cases modify statement should execute now observe so if this condition is a true first this statement executes sum is equals to sum plus i and then i plus plus execute i plus plus modify sir suppose if this condition has failed no problem if the condition has failed directly it will execute i plus plus sir after executing i plus plus once again it will go and check the condition for loop condition it will check observe after initializing i value it will check the condition of for loop if condition has failed directly it will check whether the number is a perfect number or not by comparing n value with the sum value and it will send the control to end suppose if for loop is a true condition is a true then control move inside again it is checking the number is divisible by n or not if condition for every condition two options true and false will be present if it is a false direct modify and again for loop condition checking if this condition is a true first adding that i value to sum and modify and again condition checking this is the flow chart it represents whether a number is a perfect number or not okay thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to narish it channel thank you